Cup race at Daytona, and it's one of the rare occasions that it falls on the day of the 4th of July. The name Earnhardt is synonymous with success at this racetrack, and if Dale Earnhardt Jr. can drive the 88 into victory lane tonight, it will look just a little bit more special. I'd say it's probably one of the most difficult paint jobs we do because everything is painted. Um, all the digital camo, all three colors, the black, the red stripe, um, everything is painted. There's no decals until it's time to put the numbers on the car. The first color we put on the car is the tan. We let it dry and we put on some stencils and then we put the car back in the spray booth. And then once that's dry, you know, we roll it back out, put on more stencils, and then we roll it back in. And then once that's dry, we set up to paint the red stripe. And then after we paint the red stripe, we do the black. And after the black is dry, we'll untape the whole car, put a couple coats of clear on it. And then tomorrow morning when we come in, we'll sand it down, we'll decal it, and then we'll re-clear the car so it looks just awesome. I'd say it's pretty special to all of us, including Dale Jr., being 4th of July Independence Day, you know, we have our independence thanks to the armed services. So this is, I guess, our way of giving back, you know, for what we can in racing and honoring the National Guard, doing the digital camo, you know, pretty much for them. Blue colors. I'm sporting red, white, and blue. Dale Jr. sporting the digital camo on your race car tonight. What a cool paint scheme, as we just heard from one of your paint guys, how it actually gets done back at the shop. Yeah, it's awesome. Uh, obviously, it's been July 4th weekend. We want to do something special uh, with our relationship with the Guard and, and honor the troops uh, that are in the Guard. Uh, they, they have uh, uh, been a great partner of ours. It's been an awesome relationship, and uh, we're really excited to have, have the opportunity to do something uh, a little bit different this weekend with our paint scheme. And uh, hopefully all the people that are, uh, that are in the service uh, will get a chance to see the race, and uh, we'll put it up front for them. Now, this is one of your favorite racetracks. You say it has sentimental value. Is that because of a sentimental value because of your 12 wins here, one of them being in 2001 in July, or sentimental from all your childhood memories? Just about everything. Yeah, I've been coming here for a long time, uh, about 30 years. And uh, so it's uh, it's been, you know, a place that, uh, to me, it's the, uh, it's the most important racetrack in the series. Uh, it holds the most important race and event during the year. And uh, it does a great job, really, of showcasing our sport. And, um, you know, the, the uh, community down here has been really uh, a lot of fun over the years. Um, they really enjoy the track, and, and we enjoy coming down here. Now, I know the nominations have been, giving, uh, have been given for the Hall of Fame. Your dad, obviously, you were partial to him getting in. Who else on that list do you think should be voted in for that Hall of Fame this year? Well, obviously, there's a lot of drivers and, and, and other people in the sport that, that every one of them deserves to be in there and will be in there eventually, I'm certain. Um, obviously, Richard Petty, uh, you know, there's several guys. So it's, uh, it's up to the people who vote. And um, the Hall of Fame is going to be, be, an, be an awesome facility and a great place for people to learn about the history of the sport and understand how the sport evolved and, and who made it what it is today. Now, all of your seven restrictor plate wins have come with crew chief Tony Uri Sr. Lance McGrew won here in February in the nationwide race with Tony Stewart. What are the chances of you two hooking up together and getting to victory lane? How, what do you expect out of tonight? Well, chances are great for us. we got a good car, and uh, we got great, great horsepower. It's an amazing motor I got under the hood, and uh, everything about the car is ready to go. It's, it's, uh, we always come prepared, and, and the cars look great. So uh, we should be able to run up front and, and challenge for the win tonight without any problem. All right, Dale Earnhardt Jr. looking forward to tonight's race. And he said, uh, disappointed that that off week that used to come before that Daytona July race. But, you know, we'll take it now. Johnny? Wendy, thanks a lot. Now, here's Dale Jr. by the numbers. 38 races without a victory. Seven restrictor plate wins. Two at this racetrack. But you know what? That 38 race streak, to some drivers, that would be nothing. To Dale Jr.